I've been very fortunate. Um, my parents came and immigrated to Canada. They both had a grade seven education. And uh, for me, uh, they always told us as a family that the way to improve, the way to improve a community is to have higher levels of education. Whether that's finishing high school, getting a trade, or the epitome, which was a university degree. So I think it's very important uh, to give back to the community, to develop the community, and one of the ways to do that is to support post-secondary education, university in particular. Uh, what inspired me to make a plan and gift? Um, I was raised in a culture that uh, was very strongly committed to um, planned giving, uh, and so from um, a very young age, that was part of my the ethic that I grew up in. Um, University of Winnipeg has been my employer for the last several years, and education has been uh, extremely important in my life. Uh, and so I wanted to include them as one of the one of those organizations to whom I give on a regular basis, and also to whom I have named within my will. My first introduction to the University of Winnipeg was entering into the collegiate when it was still United College. I graduated from United College and went uh, directly into the university uh, where I, I uh, obtained my Bachelor of Arts degree. Uh, upon graduation, I continued, I stayed at the university and set out as a career here. I met my wife, Janet, here at the university. Um, she also graduated. Our son and daughter both came to the university and are graduates. And my son met his wife here. Um, so we've had a long-standing uh, relationship with the university. I had a 36-year career uh, retiring as Associate Vice President of Administration. And uh, I continued to be involved through the uh, Retirees Association and the Foundation. So when my time is up, I don't see my involvement or contribution to the university ending. Following retirement, uh, I, uh, from work, I uh, um, began volunteering with Alumni Affairs and uh, later on with uh, the foundation. And uh, my recollection of my uh, contacts with the students, the conversations that we had, uh, really stayed with me. And at that point, I started to consider uh, if there was some way that I could help. And uh, uh, I looked at the uh, two options that I had. Would I choose a bursary or would I choose a scholarship? The planned gift became something that I thought of um, at, around the point of retirement. Saying, okay, I'm ending my career here. I'll continue to be involved. Uh, but uh, what's later? So uh, I talked to my wife and we've uh, made arrangements in our will to leave a planned gift. I can't forecast what things are going to be like in 40 years, 20 years, who knows when uh, my passing comes. So to be able to make a bequest and place as few restrictions on it as possible so that the people at the time can make the best decision for those times, I think is very important. I've been involved with the University of Winnipeg for over 50 years now, joining the board in 1967. It's a very fine university and I've enjoyed my many years of working with faculty, staff, students. When I became involved with the raise fundraising, uh, the question of planned giving came up. Even though I'm giving yearly, but not a large amount, but when planned giving, it gives us an opportunity to give a larger amount to the university. And one of the benefits of planned giving is that even though we don't know how much we will have in our estate, you can put a percent in, or you can put an amount in, you can continue to give each year. In other words, it's a great benefit to the university, and I think planned giving is one of the finest ways of raising money for the university. And we've now got a number of people who've made commitments, and I hope it'll continue to grow. Thank you.